disaster in Dayton, the Ohio Air Show tragedy this weekend that played out as thousands of families were watching from the ground. The pilot and the stunt woman both died, and tonight we've learned that the woman's fiance was among the spectators. Just as investigators now ask for help from anyone there taking photos, ABC's Rena Ninen on the scene tonight. Today in Dayton, a flyover in honor of stunt woman Jane Wicker and her pilot, Charlie Schwenker. It's a tradition for the show to go on after a deadly crash. This day began with a moment of silence. Thank you very much. You never want anything like that to happen, especially, you know, too, there's not many women in aviation today. A day after that fiery crash in front of thousands of spectators, NTSB investigators were pouring over the plane's wreckage asking witnesses and members of the community for photos and videos. And I would still encourage those individuals that may have access to photos and videos. If you haven't uh, come forward with a copy, would please like that. Uh, it will help us reconstruct uh, the accident uh, in, in more dimensions than just the one that you can get off of photo or video. Wicker's teenage sons weren't at the show, but her fiance, Rock Scalbo, witnessed the crash from the crowd. Wicker's ex-husband, also in the business, back in April, talked about how Scalbo, he and Jane, worked as a team. He's making sure that the airplane's, you know, in great shape because he wants to make sure she gets back okay. I'm caring for her because she's the mother of my children and I don't want to see anything happen to her. The art of wing walking makes the perilous look effortless. These awe-inspiring acrobatics are performed a few hundred feet above ground usually too low for a parachute to work. There were no radio communications or even a distress call. Investigators say they'll issue a preliminary report later this week with the basic facts, but it could take six months to a year to determine the exact cause of the crash.